Good day. Welcome to Practical Research 2 class. I am Miss Jenny VG Arimbuyutan, but you may call me Miss A. This video lesson provides you assistance in accomplishing the task in your learning modules. Today's session leads you through the process of understanding concepts of quantitative research. This leads you through the basic elements of research which are essential for good research practices. Also, this introduces the nature of inquiry and research and presents the characteristics of quantitative research. So what are you waiting for? Unlock your imagination and creativity. Open your eyes and look at the things around you. Remember that you can change the world by your own simple discovery. At the end of the session, you are expected to identify the characteristics of quantitative research, value the characteristics of quantitative research, and discuss the characteristics of quantitative research. Let us begin our session with this question. What can you remember about the difference between inquiry and research? According to Baraceros 2016, Inquiry is a learning process that motivates you to obtain knowledge or information by investigating or asking questions. While when we say research, it is a systematic process of solving a problem or finding answers to an inquiry. Now that you are reminded about the difference between inquiry and research, let us now identify which of these two statements is easier to understand. Statement number one, there are 11 new deaths due to COVID-19 in the Philippines as of May 8, 2020. Statement number two, a huge number of COVID-19 patients in the Philippines has recovered as of May 11, 2020. Which of these two statements is easier to understand? You are correct. Statement number one is easier to understand because it provides an exact number of deaths due to COVID-19. Unlike in statement number two, which just used the word huge to describe the number of recovered COVID-19 patients. This means that the use of numerical data helps the readers or audience to easily understand the meaning of a statement or an information presented to them. Since you can now distinguish statements that provide clear and unclear information, let me ask you this question. What kind of research do you think can make you focus your mind on specific things by means of statistics that involve collection and study of numerical data? That is correct. Quantitative research. Quantitative research can provide you a meaning through numerals or set of symbols that indicates a specificity, particularity, or exactness of something. Now, how do you think quantitative research differ from qualitative research in terms of the following standards? Number one, researchers' involvement to the subject of the study. Number two, expression of data, data analysis, and findings. Number three, data analysis technique. Number four, style of expression. Number five, Instrument used. In here, we talk about tools that researchers use to gather important data. And number six, sampling technique. Now, let me discuss to you the difference between quantitative research and qualitative research in terms of the given standards using this table. Let us start with number one, researchers' involvement to the subject of the study. A qualitative researcher is more involved to the topic or subject of the study since they do not provide data from the results of a computation. They need to involve their own understanding on the participants' answers to interpret gathered data. That makes qualitative research somewhat subjective. On the other hand, quantitative researcher is not that involved to the respondents because all they do is to facilitate the distribution of the survey questionnaires. They do not need to interpret the gathered data based on their own understanding. They just do it through the use of mathematical formula 
or statistical tools. Next, the expression of data. The data in qualitative research is expressed through texts, words, sentences, and paragraphs to express the findings of a qualitative study. While in quantitative study, the researchers use numbers, symbols, or graphic organizers to express quantitative data. For the data analysis technique, in qualitative study, researchers use thematic analysis where they interpret the gathered data through coding. While in quantitative study, they use mathematical formula and statistical methods to interpret the gathered data. For the style of expression, qualitative research is personal because it lacks formality. On the other hand, quantitative research is impersonal because it is based on scientific method. For the instrument used, in qualitative research, the researchers use interview and focused group discussions in gathering information from the participants. Whereas in quantitative research, the researchers use survey questionnaires to gather data from the respondents of the study. For the sampling techniques, qualitative research is inclined to non-random sampling, specifically to purposive sampling technique, while quantitative research uses random sampling techniques in getting the sample size of the population. Based on the comparison that we had between quantitative research and qualitative research, let us now discuss the characteristics of quantitative research. Number 1. Objective Objectivity implies that quantitative research is unbiased and neutral. What does it mean? Quantitative research seeks accurate measurement and analysis of target concepts. It is not based on mere intuition and guesses. Data are gathered before proposing conclusion or solution to a problem. Number two, clearly defined research questions. The researchers know in advance what they are looking for. Research questions are well defined for which objective answers are sought. All aspects of the study are carefully designed before data are gathered. Number three, structured research instruments. Standardized instruments guide data collection, thus, ensuring the accuracy, reliability, and validity of data. Data are normally gathered using structured research tools such as questionnaires to collect measurable characteristics of the population like age, socioeconomic status, number of children, among others. Number 4. Numerical data. Figures, tables, or graphs showcase summarized data collection in order to show trends, relationships, or differences among variables. The charts and tables allow you to see the evidence collected. Number 5. Large sample size. To arrive at a more reliable data analysis, a normal population distribution curve is preferred. This requires a large number size, depending on how the characteristics of the population vary. Random sampling is recommended in determining the size to avoid being biased in interpreting results. Number 6. Replication Quantitative methods can be repeated to verify findings in another setting. Thus, strengthening and reinforcing validity of findings, eliminating the possibility of unreliable conclusions. Number 7. Future Outcomes by using complex mathematical calculations and with the aid of computers, if then scenarios may be formulated, thus predicting the future results. Quantitative research puts emphasis on proof rather than discovery. So those are the characteristics of quantitative research. Now, let me end this session with this photo. I just want you to remember that as much as we need qualitative research and quantitative research in our lives, we also need both our heart and brain to live. That's the end of our session. Thank you for listening. Until next time.